Oh my god. <laughs> Should have brought Skidoo. <laughs> it's been two weeks and I just have not been out. There hasn't been the snow. Um, and all of a sudden it came at once. So in the last two days, I think we've got about 100 centimetres of snow. Um, and because of that, I'm going to call this a 100 centimetre pal day. Uh, so I'm going to meet up with four people and we are going to Sprout today. Last time I was here at seven in the morning and there was no parking. Oh, nice. <laughs> did you drive fast today? I did drive fast and there was no traffic as well. I know. Yeah. Look how happy you are when there's no traffic. I know. I'm actually ha and there's no, uh, there's no one really here as no. well. No, like nobody's gone past, like one dude. Okay, there you go. Cool, thank, thank you. you. Uh, that's the first time I've had to pay this year because I've been out so much. <laughs> Four turns into two, and these two have... I don't know how that happens, this slowly. And these two have waited for me, which has cost them the toll. <laughs> so, uh, probably would have had to have paid it anyway. So we've walked Andy again already. <laughs> <laughs> He'll have to warm up his sled again. <laughs> Probably 10, 15 peeps. Oh wow. Nice. Oh, nice and soft. Well, this bit's ploughed. Yeah. Uh, like nah. like oh, fresh tracks. A little bit of thin underneath still. I'm amazed. Well, that is one way to do it. <laughs> it's just some pallets. We'll go up. Let's go up? Yeah. Let's go towards the Alpine because if it does pop, we'll be in for a real treat. Yeah, I think if it goes blue. <laughs> Honestly, just over there is proper trenching. Yeah. Like, this is... Very light. <laughs> it's very deep. <laughs> very unconsolidated light snow. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Was it called Wally's World? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what I call it. Now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, the guys are going to be mad at me. Didn't get far, did we? Oh no, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just wanted to come down here. <laughs> this is going to be a tiring day. Hold your breath. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> oh, oh, it's hard work. Look at the size of that hole. You really just want to jump in, but oh, I think we're just going to get stuck everywhere we go.
Cheers, Andy. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Stuck on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Oh my god Wow, if he's not managing it I don't hear any motor. One, two, three. You're out. Those guys are very, very good, and they're not getting up there. Uh, one did, and then he stopped. Let's uh, let's help this guy, and then do you want some help? No. Your guy, right? I'm, uh, I'm hi. Ed, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I'm Mike. We met last Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, in um, Traconi, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a different sled? It was black. Uh, it used to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't recognize the sled. <laughs> okay. Where's your top? Uh, when you do the most monster risers, you lose the. Oh. <laughs> Two. <laughs> I thought we were going to help this guy, not hinder. <laughs> you shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> Never stop on a power day. <laughs> I was just down on it. Open water spot. Yeah. Everybody is a stuff fest down there. You know where that creek is? Right, like all in there. Oh dear. Open water. One, two. Awesome. Do you want to ride with us? What's that? Do you want to ride with us? Well, possibly, yeah. I gotta work at 11. I have no idea what time it is. Okay. <laughs> I said to my workmates, I'm gonna go and uh, take a snowmobile out to get stuck. That's exactly what we're doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kia the turbo drowning. Anything. <laughs> oh, he's brave. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just set the high mark. Oh, so impressive. Oh, yeah, you set the high mark. I can't fucking see! I love 
Actually, I'm blind right now. <laughs> on that last one I just got a big face shot here and this snow just stuck I couldn't see anything yeah, coming down tough. I was just wheeling here going just I have no idea where I'm going Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, it's deep. Oh, oh, oh. I tried to follow map, but I can't see anything. Oh, oh. Window wipers. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yes! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey. I did a huge re-entry. <laughs> I think you both did a re-entry. Easy. <laughs> and I make fun of Andy for not being in control. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Hopefully that has solved the GoPro problem. Matt has tried to full pin that. I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> More snow, sorry GoPro. <laughs> no, try and make it. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to make it out there. No! Right, let's do it again. I can make it. Oh, 
Disculpe. I'm alive. That was a bit of a panic. During that, like that was a learning of having this on my hand because it was on, I just ripped it out. So I'd, and I just, the machine was on then, I was quite stuck. I just got it off and still I'm got quite a bit of exhaust in me somehow. So I think I basically wheelied up this then bam. Sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, no GoPro mount. Some on the phone now. And this is where everyone is. <laughs> A little bit of blue sky. What's the bet that he gets stuck in like 10 seconds? Sounds like it's I, I can still hear the engine, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like you hear it. Here goes Andy. Matt's stuck there, so he got really far. So up in the subalpine, because it's had more wind, you can see over here all the ripples on the slopes it means there's slabs there, so it's a lot more dangerous to ride. Uh, yeah. Oh, go okay, Matt. Yeah, we need to tell Matt that because he gets excited about stuff. <laughs> Fucking turbos! Non turbo. And that's what happens oh, when you don't have a turbo. I asked Andy to film me doing a big wheelie and he's gonna try as well. Here he goes. <laughs> it's Andy's second attempt. Oh, oh, he's made a friend. <laughs> Andy, is that the Jerry Hell? <laughs> oh my God. God, you're stuck down. Wow, no wonder the GoPro was struggling. Just look at the... <laughs> oh. Well, that last wheelie was for Luke, who wanted to know what they look like. I'd love to know what that guy's footage looks like. It's cool, isn't it? Hole in the front. Jerry's still stuck. <laughs> <laughs> what a boss! Nice! Snow test. It looks really nice up over there. I think. <laughs> Waist. <laughs> Waist deep. Ready to pull? 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a turbo stuck. Turbo plus two horsepower. <laughs> You know what would be a really inappropriate thing to say right now? What? Should have brought a skidoo. <laughs> Three, yeah. Two, one. Alright, home we go. That sucks. Matt's got his uh, chaotic sled going. So, there goes Matt. Broken pull cord again. You went right by this poor gent. He gave you the finger on the way out. I thought he was like the thing, hello. <laughs> I, didn't really, I, I didn't really give you a sign. I signed him because then I was like, oh fuck, if they both go, I'm screwed. <laughs> just loose, isn't it? I just, my, my rollers are gone, so I can't ride mine. Oh, okay. So I just took my buddies and his bars were so loose. I couldn't even turn. So, uh, and he's got no fucking tools. I got, <laughs> he's gonna get some tools. I got some tools if you need them. Oh no, no it's all right. we're good here. Okay. You're no help now, Andy. Don't try and make up for it. <laughs> it's because I'm not used to being helpful. <laughs> yeah. I'm normally the one requiring the help. <laughs> <laughs> Can I burn a bit of gas there? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Look at the snow. No, that's crazy. Pinning it that hard, I'm not surprised. No. That's it, we're gonna head back now. Great day, a few little disasters, but there's always something with sledding. Andy's gonna be pulling a huge wheelie. you got it around. So I guess that's the learning. Andy's belt was right inside and you need to get dips here in line with uh, with the metal with the driver. So and we're back and all the snow is melted down here so I guess it's got warmer. <laughs> could have been brutal so what I want to talk about is please don't go sledding alone dug out two or three people who were up there on their own today in these kind of conditions things just happen and in my incident if I was stuck under the sled with no one around you know and I couldn't shut it off or even if I could you're in real trouble and that's uh, that's why I just want to say you know, if, if you get let down, sit in the parking lot and ask someone. Ask, ask me if you see me in the parking lot, just 
it doesn't matter. I'd far rather that than people going up on their own and, and just risking it a bit. So, um, how to make friends in, in sledding, reliable friends like Andy and Matt and Ed and the other guys, that they, they are reliable. They're, their say-do ratio is 100%. They turn up, which is um, which counts, and they know what they're doing in the Alpine. Um, how I met, I met Matt through a broken boundary lesson. So I'll do a video on what it's like to go on a broken boundary course probably in the next week or two. Um, go on one of those courses, meet people, add them on, on social, and then go from there. So I met Matt there a couple of years ago, and then he met Andy in Whistler, who then introduced Ed and I basically got added to a, a Facebook group and, and then that's how I you know that's how I know people and you you know you need to have probably you know at least three or four reliable people to be able to get out often and um, you're not always going to get out the same people plans change be back on to it at the weekend which is nice happy guy makes a change all right thank you thank you for watching see you on the next one